if you knew that you could not fail, failure was not an option, what would you dare to dream? What would you do? Think about that. If failure is not an option, if you know you can't fail, what is your dream? What do you want to do? This could be anything. This could be something big. In fact, it should be unrealistic by most people's standards, right? It would be something unrealistic. What would be your dream if you knew you could not fail? And I think that's a way that you can find out what you really want out of life. The problem is we might have these dreams already inside us. And every time we think about these things, we subconsciously block them out because we're stuck with the we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, fear, 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 failure. We have all these thoughts in our subconscious that kind of hold us back. Again, if you could have any dream and you knew you would not fail in pursuit of this dream, you knew failure was an impossibility. You know it's not going to happen. You know 100% guaranteed you could have this dream. What, what would your dream be? And you might think, wow. I mean, it could be anything, anything you want, right? Anything in this world. I mean, why not? Why not try? Why not try? Unrealistic? Sure. Whatever. It's your life. You make the choice. You decide what's unrealistic and what's realistic. It's your life. It's a good thought experiment, and I think it, it kind of helps you wake up, and it helps you realize that there are things that you want in life. There are really big things you want to do with your life, but you feel like you can't do them because you feel like you're going to fail. And that kind of shows you that we're all afraid of failure to some extent, right? I mean, we all have fears. Again. If you could do anything, and failure was not an option, what would you do? What would it be? One of the great things about once you do this exercise and you find that thing, you might say, well, I have this dream now. You've helped me find it. You know, I want this much money in a house here with you know, this and this and that and this job. And you, know, you have this whole life, this, this picture of this life you want. Well, you can have that life. You just have to work towards it. And the good thing about having such a big goal is that when you have a big goal like this, that whenever you face adversity, because you will, right? We all face adversity in life in some way or another. Having a big goal will keep you focused because if you're trying to accomplish this goal, this thing that you really, really want, that you knew you would want, if you knew you couldn't fail, you would take it in a heartbeat. If failure wasn't an option, you would pursue it, right? But when failure is an option, well, you can still pursue it. It's just every time you fail, you have to get back up and try again. And the thing with failure is, failure is necessary, okay? Think about that. Every single person that has succeeded at something, up until the point they succeeded, there was a multitude of failures. They were, it was failure, 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 failure. Oh, I can finally solve that math problem. Failure, failure, failure. Oh, I finally got a job. So failure is necessary for success. And I think once you realize that, you should just say, okay, I failed. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'll try again. And you get really good at that. You'll find that the more you fail, the better you get at handling that failure. I think that's, I think that's true. And it, it varies, right? It's not just failing at one thing. It's all about experiences. You know, when you fail, when you're doing something new and you fail, that might hurt more than failing at something you've already been doing because you're used to failure there, if that makes sense. So there's different, there's different degrees of failure, but it's all necessary for success. So when you have that big dream, when you ask yourself, you know, if you dare to dream, what would you dream, right? If failure was not an option, when you find that dream, that you really want, that you would pursue if failure was not an option, then you should choose to pursue it anyways and use that as strength every time you fail. It's an interesting thought experiment and I'm really curious. Why don't you all leave a comment with 
what your dream is. You know, leave a comment. It doesn't matter how unrealistic it is because people will look at it and they'll say it's unrealistic. Why? Because there's probably a good chance you'll fail multiple times trying to reach that dream, right? But the key is to recognize your dream in a world where failure is not an option. So like if you could have anything in the world and you, you'd have to work towards it, but you knew you wouldn't fail on the way there. You knew that, you know, those barriers that you see in your mind are now gone. So you'd be able to take that path and pursue it, you know, and work hard and reach that goal. What would that goal be, right? What would that dream be? That's what I want to know. Leave a comment in the comment section. I think other people want to know too. It'll be kind of, kind of interesting. Anyways, I do have math courses. You can check those out. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbids.com. If you use my links, it does two things. One, it helps me greatly. Two, I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum, so when you click those links, you should always get a low price. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Key takeaway from this video should be, again, think about what you really want. A lot of people don't know what they want out of life, and again, if you knew failure was not an option, what would you pursue? What would it be? What, what, would, what would your dream be? You know, if you knew you could not fail, what would it be? That's, that's powerful because that's going to wake you up and that's going to tell you what you need to do. And you can still pursue that dream, but the chances are you're gonna fail. That's, that's the dark reality of it, right? So after you identify what you want, realize that it's gonna be really, really hard. <laughs> so especially if it's something really big. You know, most good things in life take a lot of work. Right, unfortunately that's how it is. I mean, sometimes you get lucky. There's that, there that old expression, I don't know who said it, someone said, I find the harder I work, the more luck I have. I, I really like that. You have to make your own luck in this life. You know, make your own luck. Anyways, dream big, stay strong, good luck to you.